welcome to our really special anniversary. We've been doing Facebook Live for one whole year. How many of you noticed something a little bit different about our starting soon screen? If you do, did pop it in the comments. We'd love to hear what your favorite events have been over the year. So whilst Aisha and I are down here in the kitchen cooking, please pop them in the comments. And then when we join you up in the tech studio, because I'm moving from the kitchen to the tech studio later, um, we will talk about all of your memories, our memories, and what has happened over this past amazing year, a year of change. But before we do that, we are going to be cooking Easter biscuits with Aisha. So that's why I got the silly hairnet. I'm in the kitchen, always have to wear the right stuff. I haven't got gloves on because I'm not. Hello everyone, good afternoon, welcome to our Facebook Live. As Catherine said before, we are cooking Easter biscuits. So today, let me just turn this on there. Today, for our ingredients, we need, we've got here 100 grams of butter. So is that butter or is it margarine? Margarine. I always, so, I always say butter, but it's margarine. Don't worry, margarine or butter doesn't matter which yeah. one you use. They both work the same. I always cook with margarine. It's softer and therefore easier to use. Yeah. So 100 grams of margarine. Let me say the right word. We've got here 75 grams of sugar in this bowl. 50 grams of um, raisins. But then you can use um, black currants. Yeah. It? And here we've got 200 grams of plain flour. And then uh, you need one egg, large or medium, whichever one you have, and cinnamon. Or if you, if you don't have, it's meant to be um, mix, is it mixed spice? Yeah, you can use mixed spice. Mixed spice, but we've got cinnamon, so that's what I'm going to use today. You can use any spices. Any if you spice. don't have raisins or don't like them, don't have to use them at all. Yeah. Some it's just, don't like. this is the sort of little bit of a traditional recipe, but don't worry if you're not doing um, exactly what we're doing. Have fun, that's the most important Make bit. it your Easter biscuit. Exactly. <laughs> so now I'm going to use the hand mix mixer. So I'm going to soften the butter. So we freeze all our ingredients, a little bit less time. You can keep mixing uh, it. Okay. I'll, I'll bring the microphone closer to me. So we pre-weighed all of our ingredients, uh, put them all in the bowls just to make it a little bit easier. If you don't do that, don't worry. You can always pause the video and come along later. So I just just popped her hand whisk into the bowl and it's just moving it around till the butter's nice and soft. And I'm sure when she stops, I can ask about a um, if it feels different. So. So I'm does it just... feel any different once it's fully soft? Does mm. it move more easily? It moves more easily and then you it needs to be white. So now it's gone like a uh, light yellow cream, actually, cream colour. <laughs> cream colour. So now I'll mix it probably for another few minutes for it to go like white. Okay. And then I'll add the sugar. And if you can't see the difference between yellow and white, I'm sure just mixing it enough just to make mix it, it enough, fine. yeah. Just use it's your... Fine. Use your intuition, <laughs> and if you think you haven't done it enough, just mix it a bit more. Just mix it a bit more. There's no harm in mixing it too much. Yep. And you could do this with a wooden spoon. It would just take oh, a lot more. Fun. And we're all about convenience, aren't we? Yeah. So now I'm going to add the sugar and mix it for. So what type of sugar is it? Is it just caster sugar? Caster sugar. I think you can use the other sugar, it's just that the caster sugar is a little bit smaller, the yeah. grains are small, so it makes yeah. it easy. So we've That's got, the only difference. Yeah, we've got plain white caster sugar. Yeah. Um, really, the only difference the colour of the sugar we make with it's caster sugar is the colour of your biscuits when they come out. Yeah. So if you don't have plain white dyed caster sugar, don't worry, you can always use, use the normal sugar you've got. <laughs> 
any sugar you go. Any sugar. And then you just mix that in till there's no longer graininess. Would that be a good description? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to give it. So whilst Aisha stopped mix. mixing with the hand whisk, she used a spatula just to go around the edges to make sure that she brought everything from the outside back into the middle. We are baking Easter biscuits. So we have got the um, requisite cutters to cut them out later. Yes. But if you don't, we'll talk about that. And you might have noticed I just got a tea towel down on the surface. That's just to prevent the bowl moving around. You can use a tea towel if you've got a special non-slip mat. Um, some bowls come with non-slip on the bottom. Yeah, I've just um, cracked a large egg in the bowl and Aisha is really really good at cracking eggs so they go straight in the bowl yeah no if shell if you're worried about shell don't worry you can always crack it into a bowl into or a, bowl a cup first, first yeah and we're doing the slightly easier method which is just one egg I know I found one with use half an egg which yeah. is really difficult yeah it's really <laughs> one egg and this one mix it again who don't use hand mixers very often, <laughs> make sure you turn it off whilst it's still in the bowl. Okay. Otherwise you end up with mixture everywhere oh, and have the to place. It up. Yeah. So now we're gonna put the other ingredients which is the flour. How That's much flour? 200 grams. Okay. And 50 grams of raisins. And a teaspoon of whatever spice I'm using, using cinnamon. Yeah. I think I think we found you could use cloves, was it as well? Yeah, you could. Whatever spice. Whatever spice. Yeah. If you've got mixed spice, if you've got cloves, if you've got cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, you could use anything else. Anything that yeah, any spice that you like. And if you so. don't like spices, you don't have to put them in at all. <laughs> So I'm gonna put a, a dash of milk. So our milk has come straight from the fridge. From the fridge. So don't worry about that. Yeah. Earlier, our butter we'd had standing out for a little bit. Yeah. Um, the reason you can leave your butter or margarine out is it helps it soften, makes that first whisk yeah. quicker. That's it. So at this point, you don't use the whisk. Ah, yeah, okay, this point we're not allowed to use a whisk. Spoon, if you have a spoon or spatula, use, yes. Yeah, so I'm just going to clean off this, yeah. That's so Aisha just shook her beaters over her bowl. <laughs> yeah. If you're not as good as Aisha and worried about getting it everywhere, you can use the spatula just to scoop it off. Yeah. And then, are you folding in? Yeah, I'm just folding it. So in when you that. fold in, you scoop around the edge of the bowl? Yeah. And then go and through then the middle? Needle, yeah. <laughs> All, all these cooking things I learned as a child. <laughs> <laughs> 
And don't worry, biscuits tend to be a lot drier than cake mixes. Cake, yeah. <laughs> so you're, you, when you're mixing it, you're going, oh, it's very dry. It's very but it dry. Isn't, it looks it will, dry, but yeah, everything. It will moves. start coming together. Together. So what I'll do at this point, I'm going to use my hands. To Which is it. why you put your gloves on. Yes. <laughs> We don't see eyes through and gloves very often because you don't get a wash in the hands and unlike me doesn't wear nail varnish. But yeah, sometimes the best thing to do is use your hands and with biscuits, because you want to heat the um, butter and margarine up so it sticks together more, your hands are a better tool. Yeah. See, I did so, this thing in my cooking lessons. <laughs> there you go, so that's that. And just, it, you bring it together till it's starting to, to form a dough. Mm -hmm. with the spoon but it's still quite floury at that point mm -hmm. and then you keep bringing it together with, the, with your hand mm -hmm. if it's still really really sticky you can mm -hmm. add, add more flour bit, bit more flour and I think Aisha's going I'm gonna add a bit more flour <laughs> <laughs> yeah and if it's too um, if it's not sticky enough if it's too flour too floury you can always add um, a little bit of milk so, so you can always add, anyway, it's better to add. You can add, but you cannot take out. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a tablespoon of flour at this point. So I would always say, don't put your flour away once you've, <laughs> once you've um, measured it. Because yeah. I find I always need something. Whether it's flour or milk, I always need to add a little something else. Yeah. That's good. Ah, so yeah, now nicely. when Aisha's moving it around, it's no longer sticking to her glove yeah. or hand. When it was before she added the flour, it was still sticking to sticking, her hand. Yeah. You want it at the point where it's not sticking, sticking to you anymore. Yeah, that's it. So now I'm going to use the chopping board. Chopping board. <laughs> I'll need my flour again. Yep, yeah, because you always... Dust it. Yeah, as we were saying, you dust your chopping board so that it doesn't stick to your chopping board. If you, yeah, that's it, dust yeah. your chopping board. Yeah. If you, had, if you had very clean hands, you could You could use your, your hand, hands. my hands are not clean, so I can't put them yeah. in there. And whilst you dust your chopping board, you also dust your um, rolling pin. Rolling pin, yeah. So that's it. And the trick with biscuits, is to try and roll it out as few times as possible because <laughs> the more times you roll your biscuits the the more likely it is to crumble yeah. oh, no. so we've got a question do you have to use milk in the biscuits no you don't have to you don't have to no if it's looking a little bit dry and you don't want to add a little bit of milk you could add a little bit of water but just be very careful um, if you'd made them as vanilla biscuits, that little bit of vanilla might have added enough liquid as well. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to add the milk, it's optional. Yeah. yeah. So I hope that answered your question, Maxine. Or if you were using, um, if you were allergic to milk, you had a, a lactose intolerance, I'm mm. sure you could use any other alternative that you might use in your tea or coffee. So now I'm just going to roll it one inch thick. Uh, one, how, how thick is one inch? Let, let's say, <laughs> so I would say one inch thick is about the top joint of a thumb. Yeah, that's about it. We're doing chunky biscuits. <laughs> uh, we have another question. Do you have to use eggs? I've seen some recipes without eggs. So this specific recipe, it needs an egg in it. Partly because it's an Easter biscuit, so it's a celebration of being allowed to eat all of those things you'd given up for Lent, traditionally. Which is why it's got the spices and the raisins and the egg in it. If you have a recipe without, please feel free to do that as well. So we're using different cutters. Got the Easter bunny. Oh, I'm going to just tilt down so we can see these, <laughs> these biscuits a bit better. <laughs> Not that we don't want to see your face. So we've got, I we've got mind. bunny cutters. Uh, don't worry if you're using a cutter on something with raisins in yes. and it doesn't come out a perfect shape. No. Of it won't. That's because it's got raisins. They aren't perfect shapes. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got baking parchment on our tray and that prevents it from sticking to the tray. 
Um, you could have put a little bit of butter on the tray to start as well. So we've got Easter bunnies we're going to use. Um, what, are we going to use all the cutters or not? Yeah, we've got... We've got chicks as well, so we might do some chicks. There's a different bunny. Yeah. <laughs> but if you don't and have a cutter... And then we can use a spare. Yeah. Really, you if you don't have a cutter, but you do have a knife, you can always just cut it into squares. Yeah. Or if like you have a, a shortbread. Like shortbread. Yeah. If you have a glass, you can use a glass to make round biscuits. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have silly cutters, and our bunnies are being very naughty, their ears are falling off all over the place. <laughs> I know this is a bad cutter. <laughs> Shall we use one of the other ones? <laughs> See, let me Let's use try the chick. chick. I think the chick is slightly chick, yeah. less. The more de detailed your cutter is, yeah. the less easy it is to get them out see, yeah, see the So the chief did much better. Yeah. So. And Aisha is cutting them and then lifting them on their own, each, each one at a time. I was always taught you had to put your cutter through the mixture at all the places, tessellate it as much as possible <laughs> to get the most out of your mixture, uh. and then pick the excess up and then lift your biscuits out. So it doesn't matter which way around you do it. <laughs> That's an excuse to lick, lick the, the... Oh no it isn't. Hands. <laughs> I think it just depends on which way you do it. So once we finish cutting this first lock out, we will bring all the mixture together and roll it up. Roll it again, yeah. So you make sure you use all the biscuits. The, the mixture. Dough, yeah. And with biscuits, they always say your first roll gives you your best biscuits. Because once you start working it, they become um, more brittle, more likely to break. Yeah. So if you are just joining us, I'm going to remind you, if you want to tell us what your favourite bits were, please pop them in the comments, because we're celebrating a hundred, uh, not a hundred years. <laughs> One year of Facebook Live, <laughs> almost 52 <laughs> sessions live. I know we didn't do a live one at Christmas. Um, and if you find any stray raisins, just pick them up. Sorry, that was a, that was a little side note. So pop anything that you really enjoyed down in the comments. And when we go up to the tech studio, we will talk about them there. Yeah. So I'm just going to roll this again. So this time, it's slightly less sticky. Yeah. And it's, I can see there's a sli there was a slight tear in the mixture. Mm -hmm. If that happens, don't worry. It's likely to happen on second and third rollings. Just trying to get a different type of bunny. <laughs> I think that's the, e that's the better bunny. Yeah. Not quite as much detail. Yeah. So it's always choose your cutters round which are the ones that have the right amount of detail. Mm. Um, so I think the other one's good if it doesn't have raisins in it. It does, yeah. <laughs> it's those raisins they're causing us so much trouble. So like we say, if you don't like raisins, you do it plain. Or yeah, to make it just the way you like choice. it. Yeah, it's, it's up to you. If you wanted to be really decadent and put the chocolate chips in, we wouldn't blame you either. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. It's Easter, Easter, isn't it? It's Easter. It's, it's Easter. Easter. Enjoy yourself. So, I'm going to ask another question to our viewers. What are your favourite things to have in biscuits? Or, what are your favourite biscuits? This is, this is a very dangerous question to ask. <laughs> someone's going to say a Jaffa cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, these are doing a little bit more sticking to the cutter. But that's mm. fine. Mm. Ah, yeah, bunnies just aren't as easy to tessellate as... Um, because of all the raisins. It's all the raisins. They're looking really good. I, I am I'm feeling really hungry here. Um, Aisha has promised that to uh, those of us who are going to be up in the tech studio, she will bring them up. So we will get to try them. And sneaky inside knowledge, <laughs> she tested them earlier this week and they were very yummy. Everyone wanted more. Everyone wanted more. We've actually done a bigger mix this time. <laughs> <laughs> on request of some of the staff. <laughs> oh, let me use the star this time. And the star, because it's a metal cutter, might yeah. cut through more easily as well. Yeah, it is. See? Clean. I was looking through all my cutters, and I've got 
owls and squirrels and acorns. And I, went, I don't really have very many Easter ones. The only Easter cutters I have are from when I was a child, which is why I wasn't allowed metal cutters as a child. I had to have the plastic ones. <laughs> health, health, safety, gone mad or what? Uh, so we've got some questions about free from. Um, is it easy to make them with free from flour? Um, yes, this should work really well with free from flour because it doesn't need the gluten like when we did the um, cheese straws. Okay, yeah. So yeah, you should be fine a little bit to use um, free from flour. Just keep an eye on the consistency. You might need to add a little bit more of the wet ingredients, the, the butter or the milk. Mm or butter equivalent or milk equivalent. If you're using um, dairy-free butter, on the other hand, you will need to add a little bit more flour because it's always a little bit wetter. Yeah. Oh, Anna likes chocolate biscuits. I like chocolate biscuits as well. Do you like chocolate in your biscuits, Anna, or chocolate on your biscuits? Is it chocolate chips or chocolate coated? Ooh, Shalini has a suggestion. What's that? She's saying that dates could be used instead of raisins. Yeah. That sounds really nice. I think you might have to chop them up first. Yeah, and the raisins yeah, because they're big. They're quite yeah. big. But we like that idea, Shalini. Thank you for joining us. Or oh, are we going to run out of room on our tray? It should be okay. Our user should be fine. And I always find when you get to the end where you can no longer cut anything out, you roll it into a ball and squish it down and that's the ugly biscuit which you always get to eat. Yeah. Because you can't give that to anyone else so you have to try it to check that it's okay. <laughs> that's your taster. That's my taster. And don't feel, don't feel that you have to throw mixture away, they all have to look perfect and beautiful and pretty. They all have to taste good. That's the important thing. Yeah. Um, these these biscuits shouldn't spread so much, so you can get them really um, close to each other. Yeah, Ooh. they're fine. Don't need to. Don't worry about the space. As long as you leave a yeah. bit of space in the middle, it's fine. We've got some more really good suggestions. So Natalie says you could also replace some of the sugar with those dates because of their sweetness Sweet, yeah. and coral has a great vegan easter biscuit recipe on google so coral can i say please share the link in the in the comments because i'd like to have a look at them as well because sometimes if you're using mm, non i don't want to say non standard vegan ingredients mm. they can cause weird things to happen in your cooking <laughs> As I said, I know if you're using dairy-free butter, it has, to, it has to have more flour. And Anna is saying that it's both chocolate in and chocolate on biscuits. Oh, yeah. So, so what are your, are, are you a biscuit person, Aisha? Mm, not really, but if I decide to eat biscuits, digest, plain digestive. Plain digestive. Yeah. Well, I, I like any, I think one of my favorites would be a ginger, a ginger snap. Because okay. I like any biscuit that's a good dunker. <laughs> and ginger snaps are because they hold up well to being dunked in the tea for a decent amount of time. Mm -hmm. Also ones with chocolate on do because they keep the biscuit together. We're almost there. Are we almost there? Wow. Almost. And yeah. I can tell the, the biscuits are actually changing colour slightly as we're cutting them out. Yeah. That's just because we're working the mixture more. Don't worry if that happens to yours as well. Mm. So what I'll do with this, I'll just um, <laughs> <laughs> roll it into a ball and squash it really, down. That's it. And actually, if you don't have cutters, you can do this for all of your biscuits. You could make them in yeah. the ball and squash them down. Yeah, that's it. Just tend to make space here. Yeah. yeah. I think some of our biscuits are going to be a little bit squishy, but that's fine <laughs> as well. So don't worry about squished biscuits. Yeah, put that in there. That's it. Oh, so usually if you're at home, I would make sure that you just use more trays, but we only have the one tray prepared today. Yeah, that's it. It's what plain. temperature did we put our oven on at? 180. 180 degrees. And how long are we going to be cooking them? 20 for? minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. So that's done. The oven okay. is already on for 180 degrees. So I'm going to come into the oven. Into the oven. Into the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I don't want you to know oven pass me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they just go on the middle shelf of the oven. Yeah. 
Well, I put it on the box on shelf. I think that's sort of in the middle of our oven, though, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> that's it. So, so 20 minutes in there. I'm going to come round and swap places with you. Okay. So, here, here we're going to try a little bit. Oh, I haven't moved the camera. I'm going to duck and I'm going to, to say to Ola that we're going to move over there in a moment. Then I'm going to pick up the camera and join him in the tech studio. Natasha and um, Odette are already up there and they're going to be talking all about Easter. And when I join, we're going to be talking about some of our memories of the past year. So I'm hoping Ola's watching me and I'm going to say, and now we go over to the tech studio. And I smile and I wait until he sees and goes over. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm really sorry for our bit of technical issue that we had there. I hope you're rejoining us up in the tech studio. I have been up and down and up and down, but hopefully we now have a nice stable image and you can join us. I know that Natasha and Odette were talking a bit about Easter traditions. I missed that, but I'm sure they'll tell me later. And thank you for rejoining us and bearing with us on our uh, wonderful it's technical journey. Issue. It's a journey. <laughs> it, we wouldn't be one of our streams if uh, we didn't have internet issues, especially as it is our year anniversary. Yeah. So <laughs> I think we'll go on to talking about what has happened since it started. Ooh. So hopefully behind us what's going to happen is the screen's going to change. We're going to get lots of images talking about what's happened over the year. So it has been a year since we started. <laughs> yeah, and just over a year till we sat down and went, we're meant to be um, launching our strategic plan next year. Hmm, yeah. how do we do that as we can't have people in the meetings? And we bought some tripods. Uh, I had a mobile phone and that's how we started. We had mobile phone on a tripod in the resource centre yeah. <laughs> and trying to figure trying out, to figure it out. Yeah, it was, it was and so there was the roll up banner behind <laughs> there us there was yes <laughs> wow. and there was sort of after it all happened we thought we could do this again yeah do you know what our first event was do you remember what oh, our first gosh. facebook live was We've had so many. We We've have. Back, 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 back. I looked it up so I can tell you. So, go on. Quiz? No. I think there was a quiz involved, mm -hmm. but the first was one... Cooking? Was cooking ah. with Aisha. We were making cupcakes that week, ah, and yeah. I remember we had lots of cupcakes to try beforehand, yeah. and lots of cupcakes to eat afterwards, and they were incredibly nice. Yeah. So, and how did it wow. feel, I mean, we now have a whole year of it, but how did it feel be, being filmed uh, in Zoom live, in, you know, oh in front God. of the camera? Well, how, how for me, it? that was my second week, and I was like, I'm behind the camera this week. It's yeah. a much, much less stressful. I know Aisha was very yeah, nervous. Was she what, nervous. Why am I doing Facebook Live? Yeah. yeah. It was so new for all, it was of, so us. New for all of us. We didn't really know what we were doing, but no. we just went along with it and members were enjoying it. We thought, let's just keep going. Yes. And then bit by bit, you kind of started to buy more and more little bits of kit. Yeah. So yeah. I think the first yeah. thing we bought um, after going, we're doing Facebook Live, was we bought ourselves a better webcam to start oh, off yeah. with. Yeah. Okay. Instead of using the built-in camera on the computer. <laughs> then a little bit further on, uh, we got a grant. Yeah. And we bought ourselves a really good camera. Yes. And at that point, we started noticing that the problems we'd had using a webcam went away. So we didn't have the stripes on the screen yeah. Yeah. that we did with the webcam. And microphones as well to get the sound better. So it, it took us a little bit longer to get the microphones, but yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, and part of our grant got us this tech studio. Nice. We're and so lucky. I know Ola has got some pictures to put behind us that show the tech studio as it was. It wasn't a tech studio. It was a the talking newsroom, mm. um, a room that was up here on the top floor and hadn't really been touched for a while. Mm. And with the grant that we got, we've transformed it into this vibrant room. And I'm sure that you guys can see behind us what's on the wall. I've got a beautiful green screen. <laughs> so I'm hoping that up the top, it's got some pictures of 
the room as it was. And then behind Natasha's head, I think it's got the <laughs> tech studio as we're currently sitting in it, and some more down the bottom of it being in use. Mm -hmm. Um, and showing a little bit of the magic behind the scenes of how this green screen becomes the magic that you guys see rather mm -hmm. than what we see. What we're seeing right now. <laughs> what yeah. we see right now. <laughs> um, part of the grant, we got Ola. We did. Oh, we did. Yes. And the way our Facebook Live videos have gone since Ola joined us, the uh, level of professionalism he's helped bring. Yeah. And so. all of these backgrounds that I suggested this morning and happened <laughs> on yeah. the way, that was really good. So thank you, Ola, for joining us. And do you want to say anything? Uh, what? Can, can they hear me? Because I think that's really hard for me. You've got the mic next to you in the camera. Like, oh, give it a go, okay. give it a go. <laughs> all right. Sorry, we're just, we're just slightly readjusting some of our... Um, microphone so you can hear Ola because it would be really great to hear his impression of from when he started to now as well yeah because that's uh, it's a short time in Facebook but well a short time in time a long yeah. time in Facebook events yeah and I know Glenn <laughs> asked me a question he said do we know how many people have joined us on Facebook live I don't. Right. <laughs> I haven't had the chance to look through. Yeah. Look but we've had a few. Yeah. We've had a few also guest speakers. Yes, that's yeah. what we're saying. How many guest speakers? Yeah. Uh, so I can remember. So Michael Spooner. Yeah, he came about being a blind. Yeah. blind. Um, we had the optician. From yeah, the that's it. Eye healthcare professionals. Lots of eye healthcare professionals. Yeah, we had uh, sensory impairment. Sensory yes. yes. yeah. yeah. Lots of members of staff have been invited on. And some members as well, and volunteers. Yes. <laughs> so, Ola, do you want to tell us what what are your views on Facebook Live? What what's your memory of starting? Uh, the first day, because what they said to me the first day was, "Oh, you're just gonna help with." You know, making sure the Facebook uh, stays on, and then Catherine's gonna sit behind uh, in front of the camera, and then next thing I know, I'm just sitting in front of the camera with her. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was it was literally the first time that I'd ever been on camera online because I, I make it a habit to avoid it. But, but I mean, it was, <laughs> yes, but it was, uh, I tried. I tried. Good thing was I didn't say too much, so it was fine. And most of what we we're talking about was technology, so yeah, I okay. can win yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it was fun, and then from there we, I mean, compared to then and now and the tech studio, it's just new oh, cameras, oh, new laptops. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's it's been a journey and it's been great. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. And and there's some a couple of other bits of kit that you don't get to see, but you see the benefits of. We have some really lovely lights that we will put up that give a beautiful, healthy glow to our skin, rather than <laughs> making us look. Like we haven't um, seen the sun in a year. Yes. <laughs> and we've got beautiful ceiling lights up here which yeah. give a diffused light across yeah. rather than really bright lights that you get spots. Mm -hmm. and, and Catherine, you've also been helping our members to, to kind of join our Zoom sessions, sessions, giving technical um, support over the phone or yeah. actually going to see. So do we know how many, oh yes, I suppose it's hard to know how many actually people actually ha are now actually joining Zoom session. No, well, well I don't know at the moment, moment, but I'm sure we can find out. Yeah, yeah. And sort of one of the, the latter things is Odette, you joined us yeah. officially yeah. on Facebook. Yes, Ooh. yes. <laughs> because back in the early days, and this sort of goes on to my question I'm going to ask a little bit later, you were joining us on over Zoom from your home. Yes, yes. And so we were doing some dancing sessions. Yes. <laughs> so I've got some questions which go out to the members. So please feel free to type it in the comments. What have been your favourite events? And I've got some pictures of some of our regulars that Ola's going to put up behind me of what their favourite events were and some little quotes from them. So I'm going to see who we get when. I'm just waiting. No, it's really nice to sort of think back. and. It uh, is. It's lovely to know that we've been... We've been doing it for a year. Yeah, do you know the one highlight for me was the photographer. Oh, I'm going to ask you that later, yeah. so keep that in your mind. <laughs> um, so at the moment behind us, um, I'm sorry, Natasha's head 
It's <laughs> don't worry. Not, it's, it's not bad. It's not too bad. I'm going to read them out, so don't worry. Um, Anna, who um, says, The best time I had was the quiz. It felt really social and it was fun. I felt like I was doing something with other people. And she said she also liked Michael Spooner's session. He was inspiring and he gave me hope for a future career. And then we're moving on. And we've got Maxine Plowden. She says, I like the quizzes and food sessions. I also really like the tech sessions. I've learned a lot. So thank you, Maxine. And Jim, he says, my favourite sessions are to do with IT. I have such a bad memory and those remind me what, of what I could or should do on my computer. <laughs> and then Natalie says, the pancake quiz was so much fun. I was part of it and it was really fun to do. Aww. So have we got any other question, comments from members? I know, I um, think Coral earlier said that the cooking ones were her favourites. Yeah, yeah. So um, we've got Elizabeth um, saying cooking and fitness. Wow, oh, okay. um, that's good, yeah. thank you. Uh, Anna Mary. Um, Anna Mary. Yeah. Uh, all of them. Oh, all of them, oh, oh thank yeah. you Anna. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> And Shalini says Rita and Fabiana from Making a Difference. Oh, oh that's interesting. Yes, Thank you, yes. Shalini. Wow. So my next question is to Natasha and Odette. What have been what are your funny memories or your interesting memories? So I'm going to start with you, Natasha. I was dying to say it earlier. Go on, go on, say it, <laughs> say it now. Well, we had a power cup. Oh, <laughs> oh that was so fun. Um, and Odette, you were with us on Zoom. <laughs> yes, oh, gosh, yes. yes. Um, it was a freezing moment, like, what are we going to do? We can't do Facebook Live as a power cut. How are we going to do this? But we did. We went, no, okay, we have no power. Uh, there's no power in the hall. Yeah. But Ade lived next door. Yeah. So we went, okay, Ade, here's the laptops. Please charge them up. We set up a phone to be the internet mm -hmm. and <laughs> rearranged my room because it had the best lighting. Yeah. So we arranged the IT suite. Wow. And we just went with it and and made do. I yeah, that was the point at which I thought if we can do Facebook now, there's nothing stopping us from doing Facebook. Yeah. 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 So Odette, what what are yours? Um I think I think it was kind of uh, thinking about what we were wearing on the Facebook because if we wear green with our green uh, background, so we disappear. So it's kind of um, and you were saying no stripes, otherwise we'll go all fuzzy yeah. and uh, sort of yeah, sort of sort of thinking about how how we look, you know, on the yes. Facebook. It's quite funny. I, I did actually go through my wardrobe this morning and go. Shall I put on the jumper I was wearing on the event a year ago today? That's a good I call. then went, <laughs> no, it's too warm this year. <laughs> it's a much, much thicker jumper and it was oh. purple because I was going, strategic plan launch, we're going to be purple. Yeah. Purple, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Purple. Yeah. purple. Oh, wow. Um, and I think the last thing, if we've got no more comments from our members, is talking about the future of Facebook Live. So we've been doing this for a year. Mm. And we'd like your feedback. What were the good events? What were the events you didn't enjoy? Is this the right time for us to do it? I know when we started, we were doing it at one o'clock in the afternoon and we've now moved to four o'clock. Yeah. So we're looking that maybe about June time, we're gonna be reducing from going weekly to a monthly Facebook Live event. Yeah. There'll still be weekly videos, but they won't be this live production. And that'll give us a chance to really up our game. They'll be far more professional because we'll have the time to put into them. Mm. Uh, and we'd like your input as to when would be a good time to try and run these. So please give us your feedback, uh, pop it in the comments, send us an email, ring us up, however you'd like to communicate, let us know. Uh, and I wanted to add that next week we're still having our regular, so, so the changes are really happening in June. Aren't yeah, they? June, yeah, June is when we're looking to do yeah. a big change. Yeah. So next week we have Marcus from the Tate Modern and Tate Witten and Marcus have, has been developing a touch tour and audio describe tours in the, at the Tate Modern and Tate Witten and other Tate galleries and I've known him for about, oh now about 15 years 
and I've been to many of the tours and they're absolutely amazing. So we're really lucky because he's coming to join us here in the studio. Woo! So um, I hope you will be able to join us. Yeah. And is he hear coming about, with gadgets? Or? He's coming, well, I think he might... He can't bring, obviously, real works of art, <laughs> so he might be able to bring some, um, some copies and he's going to sort of explain to us how the touch tours and how Ooh. the description uh, yeah, work. I think he's going to send up a, a photo of a painting that we'll be able to put okay. and that you'll be able to experience how a node you describe painting works, you know, so how, how do you make it interesting if you can't see it? So, uh, and he's very, very good, very funny. He's a great guy. So I hope you'll be able to join us oh, and yeah. um, be entertained, really. <laughs> and I'm going, our biscuits haven't arrived yet. Oh, so I think we just won't be eating, eating them all. Is Aisha <laughs> eating our biscuits? Um, <laughs> so are there any more questions or comments from our members? I don't know. Um, Shalini says uh, she wants to do more cooking. Oh, um, great. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure we can do more cooking. Yes, yeah. last last time we were we were us us staff that was staying in food and vision. <laughs> yeah. We were very yeah. jealous of the staff going out to Shalini's house that tasted to... the lovely yeah. fish curry. Yeah. Yeah. We missed that. We, we did miss that. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we do hope Shalini that you'll be able to come and do some more cooking for us. Yes. Yeah. Really nice and, and show us some more malicious, uh, lovely, delicious recipes. Mm -hmm. So I think let's, let's talk about some more Facebook memories while we're waiting. So I must say one of the things, it's actually maybe not quite a memory, but last week, Catherine, you showed us some shortcut keys. Yeah. And um, I've, I've, uh, I've uh, enrolled to a, a poetry course, a, a mindfulness poetry course, and I was able to use the shortcut keys in the session. Yay! So at one point we had to mute ourselves. So I did Alt A, A yep. for audio. Yep. Alt A, and then somebody was was had their their camera sort of uh, off, and I said do Alt V, V for video. I was able to actually help somebody. Oh, so it's lovely! It's, it's yeah, just really nice. Passing that knowledge on always makes you feel. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Yeah. And uh, so I've had to, like everybody, you know, learn Zoom mm -hmm. yeah. from scratch, you yeah. know. And I did, I did the dance for here. <laughs> I did dances at home for exercises yeah. for, for other for better blind sport and the bait bait workout. I must do some more for. And I'm Sita. sure yeah. you're going to be teaching us the electric slide in person. I that was one of your oh. yes, yes. <laughs> Was that, was that the day we didn't have power? It might have been the electric side oh, one. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, oh, I'm going to add that in there. If you're an electric side, of course, members, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very well known line dance yeah. that you can do it in many, many places. places. There was the time when Aisha was on holiday and you had to end up doing the cooking of the no, triangle. I was just going to mention that one. It's like, yeah. it was in my head. And I remember <laughs> pretending to be Aisha making a triangle and the members came on and said, Hold on, that's not Aisha. I know she's not here. I'm, I'm just trying to make trifle here. Please bear with me. <laughs> and we're having the resource center as well, so everything was sort of yeah. sitting off on a table off screen. It's all, all that magic you don't see that happens. No, but the members, scenes. you really did make it fun. I did it yeah. by myself. You supported me. I think I remember Bob telling me what to do with the, the square to cream. So <laughs> thank you. And I, I think the other thing is for us. We also miss our members in a yeah. way, and to have some kind of communication, even if it's through the comments, for us it, it brings our services alive. It means yeah. we're we're still in touch with uh, with our members. No, yes, which is really Jesus. nice. And I think when we had the the book event after one of the cooking oh, ones, uh, yeah. I think we just got our tripods and we were turning them around. Yeah. And it was yeah. which way round do we turn so that we don't blind everyone yeah. with light? That was really good. Yeah. And the other one I liked was the one we talked about upwards, you know, all the kind of the fundraising, Kilimanjaro, yeah. Box Hill, climbing, climbing on challenges. Yes, yeah, yeah. That was fantastic. We have probably another hill to climb this yeah, summer. I know, we are hopefully <laughs> looking at climbing another hill. We will definitely let you all know. <laughs> Our challenge was how many? Was the three 
Peaks. 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 Oh, yeah. so, yes, so, we're looking at doing Scarfell Pike yeah, in the Lake yeah. District. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll, we'll see, see if we're allowed to do it this yeah. summer. We'll see. Because uh, I think. Ben Nevis might take a little bit more preparation. Yes, one. we yes. have to. We yeah. have to get fit. We, yeah, we will be having to get fit and do lots of practices before Ben Nevis. <laughs> yes. Um, I was trying to think of some of the other ones. Uh, when we had Frances here doing some peak fit with me, yeah. wearing me out next to her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the energy that Frances has is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> they were really good. Yeah, it's just great. They were. And then when we had Reagan join us for the um, eye, health eye health session, yeah. that was really good. Eye health. And, and we've got to have, uh, you members have got to meet some more of our trustees because they've been on some of our Facebook Live videos. Yeah. So Druvin and Keaton yeah. have both done Facebook Live videos. And so did Swana, she was on a volunteering one. And, yeah. and one, once, I can't remember which one it was, but we, we then decided that we could actually invite speakers remotely. So we had them on a pretend television screen. Ah, yes. Who was the first one? So I think the first one that we got was it Karen on the screen. The I think team? it might have been Karen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because previously when we'd done remote sessions like that, we'd gone fully over to the other person. Yeah. And not had the two of us in. At yeah. the same time. At the same yeah. time. So yeah. it's... Some of it, it was us learning how to use the technology oh, God, and yeah. growing as well. I think there was one time you were away and I was, um, we did a switch over. We had someone in the Zoom, I think it was a yoga session. Um, and then I was in the resource centre. So you had something making noise in the resource centre and obviously I was trying to play around with the sound. So I think the members could hear it. I'm like, sorry, you couldn't see me, but you could hear me. It's all learning, it's all learning. And I think that's it. I think you thank you so much for coming yeah. on this wonderful I think journey. Everyone's with us. just really excited to come back. Um, yeah. got we are so excited. She can't wait to start climbing again. Oh, brilliant! Uh, oh, great. Yes. And uh, Anna Marie can't wait to come back. Everyone just wants to come in and we get activity. So right? actually, yeah. that's probably yeah. the perfect one for you yeah. to talk about the yeah, So when are we reopening? Well, we're in April. So uh, Monday the nineteenth, we are open two days a week, Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, and then we're fully open back in May. Yay. So fantastic. I was just going to just make sure if you're planning on coming in, please do let us know because we will yeah. still be doing health checks on everyone just to make sure that we're all staying safe and healthy. And we're probably, we're, pro we're also limited in numbers. Yeah. So do, if you're planning on coming, the first day will be Monday the 19th. Mm -hmm. So do make sure you phone us probably on the Friday before. Friday or, anyways, you can phone the us week before, before. Yeah. You know, yeah. the week before. You know, say you're coming and, mm -hmm. and say if you, you need transport as well. Yeah, you can book for transport and lunch as well. You know, yeah. lunch on site here on Mondays and Wednesdays. But I'll say to anyone who's not at the point where they're looking to come back in, we're going to continue doing our virtual services. Mm -hmm. So Tuesday and Thursday we will still be delivering lunches home, yeah. to homes mm -hmm. and we're still doing Facebook Live every week, definitely until June. Bricks so, and clicks. Bricks and clicks. As we call them. <laughs> yes. So thank you so much for joining us. I think we're just going to have to put up photographs of the biscuits because we don't want to keep you any longer. Yes, yes. So I hope you manage to do the recipe at home yeah. and let us know how it goes. Yeah, uh, let us know how your biscuits turn out. Take some photos. Let us know about the changes you've made. So I know Coral um, found a lovely vegan recipe that oh, she shared oh, with us. Yeah, that's good. Um, and we had suggestions that we could put chocolate chips in rather than raisins. Mm -hmm. Or dates if we were being healthier. Ooh. Oh, so pretty. thank you for bearing with us. We hopefully will not have any technical issues next week. Yes. But sometimes that's just the joy of it's out of our hands. Of safe our hands. Yes. So yeah. we shall see you soon, everyone. And happy Easter. Happy Easter.